I was saying to Elle, I love the film. Absolutely loved it. I was looking forward to the release. Um, how do you feel about it after seeing it? Was it everything turned out the way you wanted? What was your take on it? Well, I, I think you, you enter into these things sort of on this journey that you don't even know where you're going to end up. You can read a script and have a general idea. But I think uh, a lot of the fun of it, a lot of the, the um, enjoyment of the experience is to sort of figure some things out as you go. And that's not only visually, but just performance-wise and emotionally. And, and so to answer your question, yeah, I'm very satisfied. I think um, you know, people, I hope, will be entertained. Well, I was. And you're a two-time Oscar winner for your production designs. Was it difficult, this is your directorial debut, was it difficult to step into that director's hat and get have a hands-off you know, feel for the production designer, or were you still involved with that? Did you have two hats on? I, I don't think you can sort of grow up creating things without being constantly drawn to the creative part of this film of Maleficent. So I, I was definitely a battle scene where, where Maleficent takes on key. It. But more importantly, you know, I wanted to you know, A, prove myself or show that I could tell stories and to talk to actors and get performances um, that were emotionally powerful. And so hopefully we did that. Hopefully I, I did that with in the collaboration with, with, with our team. Uh, you know, Angelina was fantastic, um, professional, supportive. Um, Elle was amazing. Uh, the whole cast was. So I, I, I'm just very lucky to have such you know, great talent to work with. were saying that it was so wonderful that you gave them this canvas to be able to freely be in their characters and it was such a robust um, scenes and you know mm. your your sound stages so I think that it was great that you had that that uh, that background to be yeah. able to bring to help them do their jobs. Well it's interesting because I've done films where there are no sets and mm. you know we've created and designed the sets separately uh, in this in this film I, we wanted to give the the actors something to be able to touch and to feel um, embedded in this world, and so through artwork and physical sets, it enabled them to get a very good picture of what the scene should be. And for me, it was it was critical for being able to block scenes and uh, you know photographically come up with some 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 beautiful shots. I love the fact that this is not just a retelling of Sleeping Beauty, but a whole new take on it. Was that something important from the start, or was it something that just evolved over um, time with the film? Uh, for, for me, it's, it's, it was, you know, that's what made it um, special to me when I read the script. It was being able to create something that was sort of multifaceted. It wasn't just a one-dimensional retelling. I would be bored out of my mind just to make a word-for-word -word, mm -hmm. recreation of the, the Disney classic. What we wanted to do was to, to make it more interesting. Linda Wolvington, uh, you know, we explored uh, you know, um, cu the curious sides of things, maybe questions we had, and why did this happen, and you know, where did she come from? So those are some, some interesting things to play with, and that's, that's what made it satisfying for most of us. Okay, I have one last question for you. If you could have any kind of magical power or be a magical creature for a day, what would it be? Mm. Well, that's a good question. Uh, I would probably, um, no, I, I, I can't say it. I'm not <laughs> you can't say, say it. it on TV? <laughs> no, I can't say it. Right? Oh. I'd have to think Well, we're that. online, so you can say anything. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if I was a, a magical creature, could mm -hmm. do anything I wanted to do, mm -hmm. I, 
I, I wish I were a creature that could sort of give me the answers because I'm fascinated with reality and life. What is it all about? Okay. If I could find that out, I would. Uh, you went deep on us. Okay. I went deep. <laughs> so it's it's a uh, it's some sort of dragon creature that can read your mind. Tell me everything. <laughs> tell you everything. <laughs> well, thank you, Robert, so sure. much. Wonderful film. All right. Film. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much.